we done the heat races. We already know some people that are going to be in the A main, but these are the people who failed to qualify through the heats, and and guess what? Only one person from each B main will advance. And of course, I'll be the winner. And up here in the booth, we have the NNSCRA president, Seth Cole. So, uh, Seth, you saw these guys outside of your heat race, of course, as you almost won your heat race. You've done good in that. You will be in the A main. But... In some heat races, we've seen some guys wreck horribly. We saw some f like horrifying flips. And this is 12 cars in 6 laps, which in the heat races we had 10 cars with 8 laps. So do you think we're going to see some more flips in the b maids, Or do you think it's going to be uh, a little more uh, settling? Oh, I don't think you're going to see them settle down at all. I mean, this is an opportunity to get into the A-mains here, and you're going to see them going 110%. Add in the fact there's very little grip here, being a dirt track, and the fact that these are rather a lighter weight of cars. You're going to probably see maybe a flip take place in this, because these guys are going to be going hard and heavy from green to checker. And yes, once again, we are. there's uh, no cautions in this race. It's only six laps, so that's basically the reason. Green flag! Do or die for these guys here. Zachary Fitzwater, they almost made it four wide there. Oh my goodness, they are four wide. That was close. There's Zachary Fitzwater, the Australian. And yeah, Nick Pericles got a good run inside line. He's still three wide there for second place. Yeah, it's, there is still three wide there. But we're going to take a look on the leader here, Zachary Fitzwater. Yeah, Fitzwater, that three-wide move he made there right at the start of the race, that was a smart move, get him out there in front, get him ahead of any troubles could break out, but mm -hmm. here it comes, here it comes Pericles. Pericles doing an awesome job in this B-Main. You don't want to get too high up in that cushion as Zick per Nick Pericles takes the lead away from Fitzwater. Yes, he does. That was a nice move there. Pericles kind of followed where uh, Fitzwater went on the drop of that green and now he's been able to best the zero and good battle raging back there for second place too. I think that's uh... I think that may be Mitchell there? Yeah it is. And here comes the two of Jordan Culp. We have two laps to go. Looks like Jordan Culp's gonna take the lead coming into turn number three. Yeah and as far as the do or die, Culp started ninth place. That shows you how many spots he picked up here really quickly and so he was a man on a mission. Yeah, yeah, he's kind of like you in heat race number two. Exactly, he did the exact same thing. Yeah, we are on our final lap here. Looks like Jordan Culp will make it to the A main. Now we got a surprise. Now let's say come across the line here, and we got a surprising. We got some surprises here. Dylan Young won't make the A main. Wow. And he started back in the eighth position. Apparently, the drivers that started that inside line really got good runs at the start of this race. Yeah, so here's the people that won't advance to the main event Nick Pericles, Jed Timms, Daniel Voyle, Zachary Fitzwater, Skylar Dixon, LJ Mills. LJ Mills started on the pole. That's surprising. Yeah, he got freight train there three yeah. wide several times. So, Jonathan Michelle, Dylan Young, Preston Plord. Brandon Gonzalez, another big name in this field, and Kanye Gill. So, so it's they're they're gonna have to go home for this race, but hopefully next race it'll be a different story as we will go to Brewerton Speedway up in New York for the next race. So it should be very exciting. Yes, indeed. Okay, now it's time for B main number two. Welcome to the last preliminary race before we go into our A main here today at Fireman's Park for the Fireman 25. Up here in the booth is Seth Cole once again. Thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me. No problem, as As we saw in B main number one, the pole sitter didn't have much luck as he got freight trained and uh, we have a rather big name, two big names actually, on the front row. We got Dylan Pote and Levi McIntyre. These guys, you don't really see them a lot on dirt, but they have some. Ex they have a lot of experience in race cars. So, what do you think is going to happen to them on the track today? 
Well, I think you're going to see uh, them try and completely counter what happened in our second B-Main race, or our first B-Main race, I mean to say, uh, where, the, as you said, the pole sitter got freight trained. Uh, I think you'll see a lot more defensive driving out of both Poteet and McIntyre, knowing that uh, the pole sitter has not exactly been in good stead at the very start of the race. And those guys back there from about 8th, 9th, 10th there, uh, you know, Caleb Farrell, P.J. Williams, those guys, they know that uh, the guy who started ninth, Jordan Culp, in our first B main race, he was the guy who won. So they're going to be obviously thinking of that in the back of their minds and maybe trying to make the same moves Culp did in the first B main race. It should be very interesting. And once again, as we mentioned in B main number one, only one person will advance. So it's going to be either Poteet, McIntyre, Ty Dent, Dante Blau, TJ Dent, Eric Enrage, Kyle Thomas, Taylor Daniels, Caleb Farrell, PJ Williams, Robert Piet, Robert Piet coming all the way from the Netherlands, and Charlie Rodriguez. So it should be an interesting one. Let's go back. Let's go to racing here at Fireman's Park. And they put on a good show in the first B Main race here, and we may see a lot of passing take place in this second one. And once again, no cautions. Green flag is out. See how good a jump Poti gets here. Looks Dante like he Blau. A little bit better there. Whoa. Three wide back there for second. Oh my goodness, that was some close contact Ooh, there. There's a 98 of Ty Dent, I believe. Yep, and he's gotten to the inside of Poti. There you see it. The pole sitter again, not able to hang on to the lead very long. So one of the Dent brothers might make it to the A main. This could be very interesting. Uh, the. Uh, <clears throat> The uh, talk the brothers have after this race depends on if they get in or not. But take a look, there's somebody coming up from behind. Yeah. That's 75. That's Kyle uh, Thomas there, started in seventh place. One of those cars on an inside line. We've seen here in the uh, the first A main or B main race that uh, the inside line gets a good jump. We are now halfway through this race. Hey, look, and Robert Piet. Wow, where'd he come from? Yeah, and he suffered a terrible wreck in heat race number four, and he's coming up here trying to win his way to the A-Main. How about Me that? Me started next to last. He was 11th on the starting grid, and all of a sudden he's up here battling for a chance to get into the A-Main. Yeah, he better hurry because there's only one and a half more laps to go. Yeah, he's cleared that battle for second. Now he's able to concentrate on the 75 of Kyle Thompson. Here he comes. He's going to try and get a run. Yeah, Kyle Thomas went into a little bit too much in the cushion on the lap four. And take a look at Robert Piet coming all the way from the Netherlands. They have absolutely no local short tracks there. And he's going to win B main number two. Wow. From 11th position, what a drive through the field for Piet. We're going to take a look at Piet. I mean, we've seen about three people now during this race weekend that acted, that did a Seth Cole including Seth Cole himself. They came all the way in the back. I mean, it's amazing how this guy could drive. I know. I mean, Culp did it in the uh, the first B-Main race from the inside of row 5. Piet had to do it all the way from the inside of row 6. So he made up two more positions than Culp did in the first event. Yeah, we're going to take another... basically a look at his race and what he saw. This is... Wow! Yeah, they started getting crazy up here going three wide. He just passed by all these guys on the inside line. Whoa! Oh, someone got out of shape back there. Oh my god, that's Levi McIntyre! Oh, that's the outside pole sitter! That's Levi McIntyre! Oh my goodness. Oh, they were four wide for a second there. Oh, it's someone another else guy. Oh my god! That's PJ Williams! Oh my goodness. Oh, he just lost it, did PJ. McIntyre got turned up into the wall by somebody. Yeah, but, but Seth, I want you to see this. Look how much look how much he miraculously misses these guys. I know, he spun right in front of this four wide situation and See right there. Wow. Just Got up to the cushion too hard. Man, it's a wonder more drivers weren't collected in that. Because there's not a whole lot of grip here at dirt tracks to be able to slow down when someone's spinning in front of you. So, 
man, we dodged a bullet there, but that's some hard licks there for both P.J. Williams and Levi McIntyre. Yeah, so they'll have to be both out, but we got word from the medical center near Cedarsburg, Wisconsin, which this track is located. Uh, Levi McIntyre and P.J. Williams just are fine. They don't have any injuries, so that's a good thing to hear. So, yeah, these cars have a strong yeah. roll cage, so they're able to endure that kind of stuff. Yeah, especially with the NNSCRA backing it, they had lots of money putting into the safety of the cars and tracks and the fans. So, uh, this has been the, the preliminary races, we should call it. And next up will be your feature race here at Fireman's Park for the Fireman 25.